excited because I found things that are really cheap and valuable. So first of all, I saw that they have um, this brand of lipsticks called Remail London. Um, I really haven't really tested them out, but there was one pair of lipstick that I really liked, and it's matte. It's um, eight hours long, and they're actually affordable. They're no more than $5, and I did do my research, and I went to my local drugstore, my Target, my Walmart, Walgreens, whatever you have near CVS, and they're about the same price. So the lip colors I really like. They're really fashion forward, and um, they're affordable. So let's start. So Remail London, Kate Moss, a uh, British supermodel she paired up with this British brand Remail London and um, you will see that on her lipsticks because it has her signature on it would say Kate so it's really cute so this one is number 17 it looks like this a pink and I'm going to apply it So it's really matte, um, looks like that. On camera it looks like a, a fuchsia, but it's not. I really like it. Um, I like matte lipsticks, but this one seems like it has a little shine. Again, it's the Kate Female London, number 17. And I'm wearing it, so time to remove this. All right, so we're moving on to the next lipstick. And this one is another Kate. Number 06, it's a more bright pink. And I really like it. Um, this one's more matte, it doesn't have that shiny texture so again it's more of a if you could see the color better it's more of a hot pink so that's what it's closer to i really like it but it's clashing with my eye makeup if you could see it's bluish so again i'm going to remove this And mind you, um, baby wipes are much easier to remove lipstick, but I ran out of those. Oh gosh, a hot mess. Okay, so moving on next. This is not part of the Kate Moss, but it's part of the Rimmel London. Um, it's a 006 and its name is Pink Blush. And let me remove more of because there's traces of. And what I'm using to remove my lipstick right now is just um, normal cotton ball and water in a spray bottle in case you were wondering but this lipstick right here it's beautiful it's like pink so pretty oh I like that again this is not a matte lipstick it's an Whoops, it's an eight hour lipstick by Rimmel London. 
And um, this lipstick, it's really nice. It's very rich. Again, I bought it at Ulta. But I like it. It's, it's like a good neutral. So here we go again, removing the lips. Okay, this gets better and better. Wonderful. So then, um, last but not least, and I'm scared to wear this one because it's my ultimate favorite lipstick of the line, and it's, um, again, a Kate Moss. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, if you can see this better. Hard to focus. There we go, Kate. And it's the number 10. Oh, it's a beautiful red, which I love. So I'm a believer of red lipstick. I love this one. Um, honestly, I love red lipstick and my first red lipstick was re 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 woo from mac um and i loved it and everything and i think i stopped using it because it was so expensive for me so finding a really red lipstick that suits me i'm like head over heels in love and the kate number 10 by remail london is wonderful um it's matte enough. Um, it's not shiny, so it is long lasting. Um, I would suggest that if you're going to wear any of these lipsticks, they're not kiss proof. So you will have some lipstick residue on it. So I would advise using a lip liner so it doesn't feather and so on. So back to removing this. And I love red lipstick, but I also have a love-hate relationship. Because removing it could be... an issue. So if anybody has any tips on or ideas how to remove this, oh my goodness. Here I look like the Joker. is such a pain to take off I'm probably going to like go in there with my elf concealer and conceal much better and then I'm gonna take my elf palette and just easy fix okay we're done with the reds thank goodness okay so we're continuing with another Kate now these are red and these are supposed to be much matter than the black lipsticks and um they all have kate it's really cute so this is another pink it's 102 and it looks like this and it's a matte pink I wish I had better lighting, but 
there we go so it's a matte pink it looks great again i bought it at ulta no more than five dollars back to removing the bad boys nice and easy wonderful now we have another cape this is the 113 yes and it looks like this it's nude And um, I noticed that each lipstick has a whole different texture. So this one's really velvety, very nude. I usually put this as a base before I put any other lipstick on top. I feel like my lipstick lasts longer. But personally, I wouldn't use this alone. I would actually pair it up with another lipstick. So that's that then um i have another pink it's 110 and it looks like this and it's more like an orangey pink hot pink whatever you want to call it so that's that And then we have, um, this is my absolute favorite. Um, I wear it almost every day because I like having dramatic eyes, obviously. So this is my favorite. This is the 104. And it's like a taupe. It's very natural it's a good neutral so I like wearing this one it's very nice um, you can have dramatic eyes and just have a toned down lip so I, this is absolutely my favorite one oh no back to the joker face oh Okay, and my absolute favorite, favorite one, I mean, I say that all of them are my favorite because one, they're affordable and I can stock up on so much of them, but um, this one is the 107 and it's absolutely vampy, like, like, I love it. It's a burg, it has tones of burgundy, red, and brown, so... I would never wear this lipstick with this makeup I have on because I would think it would be an overkill, but. There, I think you can pick up the color now. It's a really nice, um, shade of burgundy so I love it it's a wonderful shade and now to take it off so I absolutely love the shade and where's my thing I'm just gonna do this To just because I'd be looking like a hot mess you don't want that oh 
wonderful so that's that now out of my lipsticks I did pick up another thing and I love elf cosmetics I feel like they're so affordable and they work with my skin and they have natural ingredients in them so um, I found this BB cream at Ulta as well and it says it has broad spectrum and SPF 20 I used the color nude so it looks like that it's really cute and it has like a pump and I'll just pump a little bit and it comes out like that it's really rich and creamy it's six dollars so um you know it's a nice BB cream that I like <clears throat> I also picked out picked up sorry at Ulta some NYX eyeshadows this one's really cute um the color is wild orchid and it looks like that <clears throat> I also picked up ultraviolet it's uh, obviously purple eyeshadow maybe if I put it right here you can see it but it's purple and deep space it's a black I also picked up sparkle white I like using white for the inner corners of my eyes so that's good and the color I have on my lids um it's elect electro shock it's a type of blue bright blue love it <clears throat> and then this palette I was given to for Christmas obviously I use it every day it's an elf one and the color that I combined for my eyelids is actually I used the electro shock as a base the blue and then I used this light blue color right over here in the middle and um, the palette that you saw me using for the bronzer is kind of dirty it's my elf palette and it doubles up as a bronzer blush and lip gloss palette it's a little bit dirty don't mind that but other than that it's a good palette I really don't use the lip glosses but whatever but that's pretty much my Ulta haul the little mini things that I picked up and slash review on the lipsticks that I'm really excited to wear on a daily basis because you know that I love makeup and I just wanna I know this video is a little bit long but I just want to tell those girls out there that do not think that they're beautiful that's a lie you're completely beautiful you can be bullied but you know what don't give that bully the power um, I recently embraced makeup like a couple years ago and um, I love playing with it I mean I could wear it every day I could oomph it up do a full face of makeup or sometimes I don't even feel like wearing makeup because it's all it's all about being comfortable in your own skin so um, I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel please and comment below Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think, um, what you like, what you want me to put on a video. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.